TikTok, you know, white people have dominated this app with their cringiness. And instead of going on YouTube and looking up cringy white people TikToks, I decided that I was gonna spend the next three weeks of my life finding the best TikToks for you. And you might think, Chase, you're crazy. You could have gone mentally insane. Oh, I did. I did. I found myself sitting on the couch going, what is this? And this video doesn't really have like a theme besides white people just ruining every trend that happens. Um, but yeah, we're gonna take a look and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk about some of the clips that I found and try to make sense of it all. Try to make sense of why white people have to ruin everything. DUI check. Most people buy Gucci. They'll buy some Louis Vuittons. They'll buy they'll buy nice clothes or a nice car and then they'll flex it but you know what we do you know what we do we flex having a dui because what other way could we do it you know there's so many there's so many uh families on the road that are just trying to drive home from soccer practice but you know what we got to get drunk and we got to drive we can't see the road straight we don't care because guess what we can get tiktok views oh join the club get out of here you could you could hurt people and what do you do flaunt it on tiktok and it's not just her, that's the problem. That's the main problem, it's not just her because she was lip syncing the video. She was lip syncing what was going on, And but that's not the only lip syncing video I got for you. Listen baby girl, I'm not saying we can't fuck if you're vanilla, but if I can't choke you, I don't even want to stroke you. Ugh. Okay, um, when you're on the internet, everything lasts forever. And you got to remember that you got to remember that that it's not going away and it's saved on my computer So it's really not going away and when you're posting a video I advise you just think would my grandmother like to see this not not your mom because you know You grew up with your mom and you can have a strong relationship where you guys can talk about Sex and stuff like that, but would your grandma like to see it because I my grandma would hate that's disgusting You're going on TikTok lip-syncing about stroking women and then and then this girl to the left is like yeah that's hot <laughs> i'm gonna hold up my drink <laughs> no that's fucking gross but but you wait you wait it gets even worse guys you want to pull hair this is what you do take your hand spread your fingers like that go to the very bottom of your woman's head then you track up your woman's head just like that and when you get to run about there you grab as much hair as you can then you fucking crack that shit all right yes please I'd like to report a uh, domestic uh, violence. What? Why is that hot? You are literally. <laughs> he said, track your hand up your hair and you yank that shit. And you start. <laughs> there was zero to 100. Can you just calm down for a second? I understand that's probably. That's a comedian talking and they're making a joke, but like they turn it into a sexual thing. It's not a joke anymore because they. Did you see her face? Please. Please stop. What would your grandma say? What would your grandma say? I love this video. This video is probably one of my favorites. As you can see, none of them can dance because we're white. But the grandma at the end really got me. She said, G -g 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 -g. So obviously, grandma was okay with it, but the only thing I wasn't okay with, run it back. Did you see that? You see the way she just disrespected her grandma? She smacked her hands out. Give grandma more respect than that. She was in your TikTok. It was your TikTok. And what did you decide to do? I'm gonna smack the shit out of you. Treat granny with respect. Put some respect on her name. So as you can see, white people love to dance to songs on TikTok. It's not the dancing portion. It's everybody thinking it's okay to dance and everybody thinking they're doing a good job. It's just like, we like to see what other cultures are doing, and then we just we just, we just just yank it. We act like it's our own, and then we hype each other up like we're doing good. Like, yo, you're you're killing that shit. Keep going, watch this. That's a bad friend. That if that friend in the background that's hyping up, that's a bad friend. 
when when you see your friends sitting there dancing and it's really really bad you have to you have to consciously walk over to your friend and be like hey cut that shit out Oh, you thought white people could only ruin dancing? You, you thought we couldn't ruin gang signs as well? We, we can ruin. Give us something. Give us, give, this is like a challenge for us. We look at it and we're like, you know what? I can do that, but I can do it a lot worse. I can ruin that for you. All these people throwing up, stop, please. You, you think it's like this cute, like, oh, look at me, like, like you're trying to make it like a thirst trap and like, oh, I'm doing this cute, it's like a, I'm doing this little quirky thing. I'm such a quirky guy doing a gang sign, but that shit's serious. If, if anybody on the street saw you throwing up these gang signs, go to Chicago, throw up those gang signs, go to Atlanta, throw up those gang signs, see what happens. You're, 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 it's going to be done. Like you can't do that. But some people think, hey. I'm gonna change up the whole gang sign game right now. I'm gonna change it all up. Tell me if I just I just did something right now. Okay, ready? So like you've seen like this this normal as like something like that. Okay, I just changed the whole gang sign game. Okay. What was that? He said, "I don't care about centuries of gang signs. Me in my big house." with my Range Rover out front. We're going to we're going to teach you guys a little something, okay? We didn't grow up in the streets. We grew up in the suburbs and we're going to teach you how to actually do it. What is your problem, dude? I saw this when I was scrolling through and I'm like, "What the fuck were you thinking? What is that? White people are just disgusting." <laughs> You? She's probably been, what if she's been chewing on that all day? Huh? She was like, you know what? I'm not going to brush my teeth today. I'm just going to pop in a piece of gum. Boyfriend comes up. Hey, uh, let's film a little quirky TikTok where you spit that gum in my mouth. Bro, beads of sweat start coming down her. She's like, oh shit. Um, I didn't brush my teeth today. He goes, that's fine. That's gross. Shouldn't have got me, told me, kill him. I said, let me grab my death now. I don't know her. Boy, I'm finna glow October. Why is that, like, cute? Or why is that funny? To, you know what? We're gonna share the same straws. I'm just gonna... Oh, my God. How do you decide that this is okay? How do you decide, you know what, guys? Like, you're walking in the room, and you go, Hey, I got a good TikTok idea. Oh, yeah, what is that? All right, so li listen here, listen here. This is like your secretly gay friend. All right, listen here. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a cup. I'm gonna have a straw, um, and we all just share from it. Yeah, that's a good idea. That'll be funny. No, what? That's just fucking weird. I'm not even gonna go over that one. I'm in to win it. I'm gonna be the best. Yes. I can't handle this anymore. I've already watched too many. My brain is mush. I've been filming this video for too long. Like, my head hurts. So, I'm gonna try to make this. I still haven't figured out the answer of why white people have to ruin everything and why they think this is okay. So, if you guys know, just, just please, just, I think we should come together as a unit and be like, this isn't okay. Thank you guys for watching. If you agree with me, just let me know. Uh, until next time, I'll see you in a month.